What's up, y'all? Life of the Third. This is going to be my Christmas 2020 haul. All of the Christmas gifts that I got, and I just want to show them and share them with y'all. Starting off, my first one, we already did an unboxing for it, but we have the Mac Baby. The Mac Baby. So I'll be putting out a video of the unboxing of this beautiful MacBook Pro that I got. I'm already loving it. I already made a uh, vlog for Christmas, how we opened our presents with family, and it was so quick to like chop up and put music behind and all of that. It was really, really awesome. So that's what uh, was, this was my Christmas present to myself, as I said in the vlog about this unboxing of this MacBook Pro. So you'll see that later, but just wanted to have it a part of the Christmas haul. So love this thing. It still needs a name, but this is my MacBook Pro 13 inch with this awesome blue cover. And this was my first Christmas gift, technically, to myself. So, let's go into the other gifts. Um, I showed this in the Christmas vlog, but I like this bag, first of all. Shout out to Julia, our CMO for STEM Music, uh, Chief Marketing Officer slash Graphic Designer. She got me this really cool STEM Music uh, candle, which is awesome. I showed it in the Christmas vlog. Um, it does smell really good too. I can't wait to use it and put it on my desk back home because clearly I'm here in my childhood home in Raytown, Missouri. So um, love it. Always got to rep the music. You know, we're growing, we're building. Okay, so let's put this back here. So love this bag. Shout out to my mom. I feel like uh, I'm in Frozen. Into the unknown, into the unknown. crazy stuff you really don't but I just did so this is let it snow um, it reminds me of frozen this is the bag that my mom put one of my gifts in but all my gifts happen to fit in here so let's start off with some of the um, smaller things I got a really cool card from my grandmother it says uh, grandson is laughter and good times to share happiness that grows through the years memories to cherish always and I got to check in here with some money so that was really cool and then I got another card from my sister, I believe. Yes, it was in here. And it said, hope, peace, and joy. And she wrote an awesome note in here. It's been a challenging year, like for many of us, um, myself included. And so she's been a part of helping me through this challenging year. And she wrote a really cool message. And she has some Benjamins in there. So there's some money in there. This was a gift from my mother. Uh, Calvin Klein Eternity for Men, <laughs> but it says flame, and she didn't know it said flame. So basically, this is uh, some cologne, but it's uh, some cologne that we don't we don't know what it smells like because usually it's Eternity for Men, just the regular, but this is flame. So I I'm not sure what the scent is gonna be, but this was a gift that I got. And then, so put this back in here. Let's try to keep everything in the bag if I can. So this next gift was Blaze Pizza gift card for my brother. He lives in Columbus, Ohio. And I went to go visit him um, earlier this year and uh, he introduced me to Blaze Pizza. I didn't realize we had one in Wichita. So when I got back to Wichita, I started eating there. Um, it's like custom made pizzas that you can make um, and I really enjoyed it. So it's become a favorite of mine. And so he got me a gift card to Blaze Pizza. I'm very, very excited about it. Can't wait to go when I get back to Wichita. There's probably some here in Kansas City too, but um, yeah, super excited about this. Love this gift. All right. Now, this next gift, uh, this was also from my mother, I think. Yes. And these are activewear. You know, I like to run. Y'all know I'll be doing um, different runs. And so it's colder now. Um, so some nice little running leggings. These are Under Armour Base 2.0 Active Base Layer. Men's legging is what it's called. And um, I'm not sure. Oh, extra large. So hopefully they fit. <laughs> but use these to go running outside. Uh, this contraption right here. Doesn't this look crazy? This looks like some scientific thing. I don't know. If this doesn't really work up here. None of this works, but it's for the look. But ProMaster Citizen, and it's a watch. How cool is that? That's awesome. So uh, apparently you can take this underwater. It's a black watch. 
uh, really, really cool. Um, I like black watches and this one is really cool and hopefully I can use it in the water. So, um, also love the, love the little box container thing, whatever this contraption is that it came in, okay? Okay, and then next up, I got another watch as well. Um, I never know how to say the name of this company, Belova, 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 B-U-L-O-V-A. This one is beautiful. It is a blue gold. I mean, that's just precious, absolutely precious. And uh, my mom is really good about being good with deals and stuff, so she's never paying full price for these, which is awesome. Um, because they're really, really nice watches. So, love that, blue and gold. Um, probably, I've got a couple of gifts left to show you. One of my favorite gifts, maybe the favorite gift of the entire Christmas was this thing I'm about to pull out right here. A Promised Land. My brother got me Barack Obama's book. This is volume one. He does have a second volume that will be coming later, but I have been in so many Barnes and Nobles since this book came out, and I've had to be disciplined about not getting this book and I actually told my mom I said mom this is all I want for Christmas I just want this book and I was just you know believing that she was gonna get it so I was like don't buy it well come to find out she didn't get it but my brother came through clutch and got the book um, I, I admire Barack Obama um, and I think just politically um, when it comes to government and learning about different things like maybe my views are not all the same as his but um, I always, there's a running joke that I'm gonna be the mayor of Wichita in 2040 or something like that. Who knows if that's actually gonna happen. But this could be a start to learning about what that's like because I haven't really been super into government and all of that uh, growing up. But I have certain different leadership uh, positions within organizations and I have enjoyed that structure of like passing, um, I won't say laws per se, but different ordinances or things within the organizations that I've served in um, and boards that I've served on. I, I do like that functionality and the, the system of it all. Um, so this is very intriguing to me. Not only his life story, obviously very significant being the first black president of the United States of America, but also just government and like the different challenges that he had to face. So very excited about this. And I've been reading books this year. Like I've been reading so many books I've read I think six books total this year. My goal starting at the beginning of 2020 was to read five books and I think I've read six and I'm almost I'm gonna be done with seven here maybe before the new year. So I'm really into books all of a sudden um, but books that are like autobiographies or biographies or anything nonfiction. So love this. Love, 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 love this. This is probably my favorite. And then um, another one I'm very, very excited. Black owned business, black owned business. Bevel. Bevel. So I wanted to try some of their skincare uh, products, um, and so I got a whole box full of these Bevel skincare products. So I, I, I'll probably do a review on this too to see like how it works on my skin. But this is the face serum. So this is the face serum. I'll show you all of them. This is the Bevel uh, skin face wash. So we got a face wash here. This is Bevel skin uh, exfoliating toner exfoliating toner and then I think there's two more and then bevel moisturizing face gel here and the last one being bevel skin spot correction spot correction and so what is significant about uh, bevel I'll just hold this one up as you can see there's a black face on here black owned business but it's product that is specifically for the black community black men in particular um, they have a, a, a razor shaver or whatever that they, they came out with um, and so they have skin products as well and so I am um, I heard about Bevel via um, how I built this which is a podcast hosted by Guy Raz I read his book this year go check it out if you're an entrepreneur or want to be an entrepreneur got it has great advice in it and the podcast is amazing different stories about entrepreneurs and so one of them was on um, Mr. Walker I cannot remember his first name but he's the founder of Bevel which is now um, under housed underneath Procter and Gamble but Mr. Walker is still leading it um, and so yeah I just started following the brand on Instagram and, and just really getting to know it better and I was like you know what for Christmas that would be really cool to try it out and see how it works on my skin I know there's some spots like right here and even on my cheeks um, and that's one of my goals in the next year is to try to take better care of my skin. So I figured we start with Bevel. 
And no, this is not a sponsored YouTube video, but maybe one day it will be. You never know. All right, so this is my Christmas haul. I just wanted to get on here, show you everything that I got. Um, super excited about all my gifts and uh, looking forward to using them in the new year, specifically reading them. I love this so much. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful rest of your year, what's left of it. Hopefully you enjoyed your Christmas. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. We're at like eight, 84 or something like that subscribers 884 so like we're almost at a thousand subscribers so subscribe do me a favor subscribe if you're watching this for the first time subscribe and um yeah hit that like button thumbs up button notification button and just continue to stay on the journey of life of the third y'all have a great rest of your day my god is great peace